We now return to Let's Play Stardew Valley. Kind of an exciting episode today, at least for me, because we're going to start moving things around on the farm. Queen of Sauce, this week's dish is the omelet. Yay! This is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelet is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg. And I'm going to show you my secret method. You learned how to cook an omelet. Good. No, don't move the TV. Fortune teller. Spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. So maybe... Uh, maybe I should go fishing. <laughs> Be beautiful today and tomorrow and every day this week because that's how it goes. Okay, first things first. Let's pet the dog. <laughs> Let's water all the crops. Now, most of this is actually not going to be able to move just yet, but I can at least lay down some of the initial path. I've been using uh, an online planner. Haven't done the whole thing, but at least this corner of the farm. Whoops. I have uh, an idea of what I'd like to do, and it's not the most efficient, but I'm really going more for aesthetic rather than min-max this whole thing. I hope those flowers uh, grow, because otherwise I, I completely wasted them. Speaking of waste, we have fertilized land that's doing nothing for me. Okay. So, I've got nothing in my inventory that is worth, let's just organize it like that, that is worth selling. Um, but let's go into town, let's see if I can't maybe... I don't think the, uh, there's worms. I don't think my axe is going to be ready today. But we can go down there and see anyway. Whoops. Whoops. There, finally. Alright, another lost book. Let's go to the library while we're there. That's good, that's actually very nice. That's uh, good timing there. Uh, another thing I would like to do is chop down wood. So, if I've got some time... Well, more importantly, if I've got some energy after I'm done putting down some of my cobblestone, etc., etc., I would definitely like to see if we can't get some more wood because I want to start the season, or at least as close as I can get, um, oh, right, I'm here for a book. Book by Marnie. This is not the book. This is the book. How deep do the mines go? This question has been pondered by many Stardew Valley explorers over the years. The truth is, no one really knows. Or at least, they aren't telling anyone. Unfortunately, many of those who venture deep into the mines never return. However, there have been a few bold adventurers who have traveled deep into the mines and have resurfaced with interesting reports. Apparently, there are three distinct areas in the mine each with unique monsters and treasures. Some adventurers speak of gigantic underground lakes and strange creatures, but none of these claims have been proven. If you say so. Now, I do have a lot of slime up there. Do I have enough to get this bundle? Where... Is it the boy? No, adventurers. 99. I don't think I have 99. Yay, I've got my copper axe. Okay, good. I can at least clear out some of those stumps. That was what I'm here for. You know what? While I'm here, may as well... Talk to Clint, who is not terribly pleased to see me. May as well run up there and see if I have enough slime. I could always use the slime for something else, but I think we're a ways away from actually being able to craft whatever that may be. There were stairs here I could have gone up. 
It doesn't hurt to go this way, though. See if there's any foraging out there. See if there's worms. Could come up here and deforest a lot of things. I looked up, finally, what Linus likes. Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. Just had to wait it out. That's terrible. Nope. Not even close. While I'm up here, though, I will leave that, because I don't need it. Um, I don't really need this either, I guess. It just saves me from forgetting. Another book. Oh, may as well head back down there, then. We're out for sightseeing today. Um, Linus likes berries, so I could have been bringing some salmon berries to him. But one of the reasons that I need to be chopping wood is so that I can make several preserved jars. Because apparently it takes a few days for the fruit to turn into jam. So I'll end up having a little section of my farm for production of mayonnaise, as well as... Oh, I keep forgetting. As well as jam creation. I can't get to Gunther. Just for casual conversation. An old farmer's journal. I've been here for a year now, and I've started to make friends with the local townspeople. It sure feels great. And they're sending me gifts and secret family recipes in the mail, too. That's really helpful. Okay, we've wasted enough of the day. Not that I was going to do much today anyway. Oh yes, I left some stuff down here on the beach. I may as well pick that up, right? Provided it's still there. May as well scan the rest of the beach while I'm at it. Because you never know. The beach actually seems to be a very common place to find worms. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you'd hoped. I have to probably be a little bit friendlier with... yeah. Before I can go in there. Yes, so the urchin that I left behind. Regular sea urchin. And that's it. Okay. I cleaned them out. So this is this goes into the die bundle. Uh, I guess I could hang on to one instead of selling it, just anticipating the day when I will eventually need it. Oh hello. Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all nighter. Oh, is it sun? It is Sunday. I was gonna say, why is everyone out again? Another week gone by. It's just like real life. And just like real life, here it is, 2 o'clock. Sunday afternoon, haven't done anything. Wasted weekend. Oh well. Uh, okay, we'll put you in there. And everything else I will keep. I will actually take that, however, because I want to begin making some of those cobblestone thingies. Okay. Uh, I also want to plant some maple seeds. Now, I don't think I'm going to get around to doing that today. Let's actually organize this so I don't have to scroll all the way to get to this. And I should be able... Oh, let's uh, let's do it this way so we don't actually lose hardwood. Yay! I don't actually have to go to the... What's it? To get my hardwood now. Good. Let's get a few more of those. Now there is something immediately that I can build with the hardwood, so I'm very pleased to see this. I don't think I can open up the secret wood area yet, though. I think that requires a much more powerful axe. Um, scythe time. Uh, yes, I need to angle so it doesn't go into the pond. Okay. May as well clear this out, too. Nope! Not strong enough. 
Uh, I don't need to clear that out just yet. So, let's make... Oh, I'm going to need so many, so many stone on top of needing... On top of needing a uh, wall. Yeah, I mean, this is right in the way of where I need to be. So, let's see. How many do I want to make starting out? Let's just make about 20 to start out with. Or 21, fine. <laughs> and we'll start off... Oh, really? Oh, I was going to say, I can't do this from my home. makes noise now. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You do have to be a bit closer. Okay. Well, eventually I want this little cobblestone path to run around here. I'm going to start the crops on this side, but I want this to be a nice little grove. Now, I can, the way I figured it, I can fit well, I could fit more than 15, but the way I'm going to have it, I could fit 15 trees in here. What I'm actually going to do right now, though, is just have six, and then have some grass in here, so it's a nice little parky area as you come in. But eventually, if I start needing a lot of mass production for, like, maple syrup or something, I can expand this considerably. So, this gets planted just like that. Okay. And then two away, and then two away, and two away. Okay, and then these crops are in the way. So let's make a few more. Another strange number. Now having it close to the path like this Actually, I didn't have the path there. That's why. That's that, that's the problem. Uh, in order to get 15, they would be near the pathways, and that is not efficient um, at all. Right. So, yes, there was not going to be a path there. There's just going to be grass there. Uh, I can grow grass now, uh, I guess. I could go get some. Plant that down. But I was thinking, like, I could either maybe have flowers along the outside and grass in the middle, or grass in the middle and... F I, I, I don't know. But um, it'll just be a nice little scenic area, and the path will go along here, and I will have some stone wall. So I guess I can continue on with this and just eventually put it in as I need it. Uh, and then these little areas right here, there are a few... I, th I was thinking maybe I could put torches there, or like some flower pots. It's a little late to get the recipe now. I'll have to wait until next year. Okay, so that worked out, and we'll need more. I may as well just finish this off, right? I mean, that's the whole point of what I'm doing today. But uh, I'm going to plant maple trees there, mostly because I can already make a tapper. And I think that'll be nice, just to have some early income. I need two more. Okay. I'm choosing cobblestone, just because I think it looks a lot nicer than the wood planking or gravel. I might have gravel going into some of these places, maybe. Um, could I actually get started just putting some wall down? What I want to do, I, I think for right here, as it goes along this little pathway, and that's another thing too, uh, by keeping it like this, I can put some more fruit trees all the way down this side, and I think that's where I'll put those. Um, again, I can squeeze more into it if I actually space it differently, but uh, I'm going to have, have the wall coming along here, but then what I want to do is also... Um, hold on a minute, <laughs> uh, is also uh, put, like, grass along there. So it, it'd be, like, one strip of path, but rather than have a path with two walls on either side, I want to have, like, grass going along it or maybe flowers or something. Mostly for aesthetics, again, but, you know, it would also allow me to grow, like, flowers without needing to dedicate plots to it. 
So it's both functional and uh, beautiful. So let's put some of these things away. Uh, like that. And the hardwood. Yes, hardwood. Let's think about that. What requires hardwood that I can actually make right now? Or was I thinking maybe in the future? Here's something I need to start collecting for. I need to start putting away for uh, some extra wood. Wood that I don't have right now. Oh, clams. Okay. Well, pine tar can be made for that. Um, copper bar. There was something else I saw I needed a copper bar for. Okay, I need some... See, here's another thing, too, is maple syrup then allows me to make my bee houses so I can start having honey. Um, okay, I guess I just don't have access to this stuff yet. See, that's a problem when I look at the wiki and I see all the possibilities and then I come back into my game and I'm like, oh, wait, I don't have that yet. Oh, copper bars, yes, for the tapper. Okay. So, right. I mean, it'll take all month for those trees to grow. So we won't have that access until fall. But that's okay. Okay. Well, 9 o'clock. Uh, what can I be doing? It is lucky. So maybe I can go... What are you doing in the weeds? Maybe I can go get something out of my pond. Wherever that is. It's always further out than I remember. And eventually I'm going to have a nice bit of pathway. I think I can make furniture, at least buy furniture. So I might like have little benches out here. Again, I'm not looking to maximize my croppage or anything like that. I'm going to go for aesthetic on this farm. Mostly because I don't really want to plan it out, but also because I don't want a huge industry industry of uh, farm out here. I don't know why I stutter anymore. This is terrible. As a Let's Player, I should not develop soggy newspaper. I should not develop a stutter. Ah, oh, that was quick. Okay, this, this is my junk pond, obviously. I guess once I get a bunch of recyclables, that'll be okay. All right, well, let's call it quits, then. Okay. I'm going to have to clear this area for sure, because I can't see in the dark. Frickin' A. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, only a few more days remaining, I'll put those back in there, until summer. I am actually looking forward to it. I think that's going to be a lot more fun than what I'm currently doing. Um, do I want to switch out for the good daffodil? Sure, why not? Okay. Well, we'll go to sleep again for the night. All right. We're counting down. Whoa, whoa, what? We're already in summer? What? But it wasn't... Huh? What happened to the 30th? Well, shit. Okay. Well, um... Hmm. I, I, well, okay. Okay. Well, I'll see you next time, then.